In this video, we're going to learn how to check if a number is positive, negative, or zero using C++. The first thing we'll do is declare a variable to store the number. So I'll have here double and number to declare a variable of type double called number. We've used type double to declare the variable because variables of type double can store numbers with decimal places. Next, we'll use cout to prompt the user to enter the number. So we'll have here cout and then the string number colon. So this is going to prompt the user with the text number colon. This here is the stream insertion operator. It's going to output the text number colon to the terminal. And then we can use cin to accept a number from user input and store that number into the variable number. So we'll have cin and then number. And this is the stream extraction operator. We're going to read a number from user input and store it into the variable number. Then we can use an if statement to check if the number is positive. So here we'll have if and then the condition number greater than zero. So if this condition here is true, if the number is greater than zero, that means the number is positive. Then this block of code is going to execute. If this condition is false, this block of code will not execute. So what we'll do is in this block of code, we'll output here, number is positive, followed by an end line. Where this end line will make it so that any additional output will occur on the next line of the terminal. Now, if the number is not greater than zero, then we could use an else if branch to check if the number is negative, if the number is less than zero. So we'll have here else if, and then the condition number is less than zero. Then we'll have another block of code here. So the way this works is if this condition is true, this block of code is going to execute. And then control flow is going to jump down here. Below the if else if statement, this block of code will not execute if this condition is true. Now, if this condition is false, then this condition will be checked. And if this condition is true, then this block of code is going to execute. And then control flow is going to jump down here. So what we'll do is output in this block of code, number is negative, followed by an inline. Now, if the number is not greater than zero and the number is not less than zero, the only possibility left is that the number is zero. So we don't need an else if branch with a condition to check for this. We can have an else branch here. We'll have else, and then we'll have this block of code here. And this block of code is only going to execute if this condition is false and this condition here is false. Then what we'll do is output number is zero with C out and then number is zero followed by an inline. So only one of these blocks of code here is going to execute. If the number is greater than zero, this block of code will execute. If the number is less than zero, this block of code will execute. And if neither of these conditions is true, the number must be equal to zero and then this block of code will execute. So if we save, compile, and run the program, and enter in, let's say five, then we'll get here, number is positive. We could try again, and this time, we'll enter in, let's say, negative 2.3, and we get number is negative, and then we'll try one more time. This time, we'll enter in zero, and we get number is zero and all of these results are correct. So this is how we can check if a number is positive, negative, or zero using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.